Hi, I'm Samantha. Um, one really positive experience that I had in middle school was, um, I think, building new relationships with new friends who I was meeting in middle school and kind of moving um, to a place where I was like actually having friendships that were based on shared interests and, um, you know, being able to make friends kind of in a larger setting than the elementary school I had attended. You know, so rather than having an option of like, okay, well, I can pretty much be friends with like the people who are in my class, you kind of have a little bit more um, freedom and can like build friendships and build relationships with students who, um, you know, are not just, you know, the 20 kids in your class. Um, for me, the I think the most challenging part of middle school actually kind of happened before middle school started. So when I was in fourth grade, my house burned down. And then throughout fifth and sixth and seventh grade, I was so worried about people finding out that my house burned down in fourth grade, right? Plenty of people already knew. I did not go to school in that large of a town. Um, but like anytime my parents would go to parent-teacher conferences, I was always like, you can't tell my teacher that, that our house burned down. Like, they just can't find out about that. I was always very concerned about that. You know, I never, like when I was meeting new people, I never wanted them to be able to find out that. And so that was something that I was really having a hard time coping with throughout middle school. And there were other things too, like, for a couple years after my house burned down, I couldn't sleep. And so I was, you know, always really tired and falling asleep in class and things like that. So that, you know, was something that impacted my experience in middle school. And it wasn't coming from middle school, but still kind of shaped the person that I was in middle school and how I experienced it. Um, right now, this is my third year of teaching, and I'm teaching fifth grade math at a middle school. So that's been a very interesting experience to see how middle school is from a teacher's perspective um, instead of from the perspective of a student. Um, and I'm really excited to you know, be in this class and be learning more about middle school and teaching in middle school.